watch you guys got another fix it video here for you now if you're trying to run a game and you're getting this error code here then this video is for you now this normally happens when you are trying to play a game like say PUBG or you play or origin or something like that you're going to get that error message when you click on it and let me just show you how you can quickly resolve and fix this problem this is due to the C Visual C++ redistribution or Visual Studio uh, series of uh, programs you have to download from Microsoft. You can see I've got a couple installed here. So if you do have them installed, the ones that are uh, the 2015 version, and you've got them here, you can click on these and repair them if you've got an issue. What I advise you to do is just uninstall them and reinstall them. And if you don't have them in, on your system, then you will need to download and install them. Now it's better to download a load of these and install all of these on your system because a lot of old games and programs will use the Visual Studio uh, programs from Microsoft. So you can get them from Microsoft, you just need to download them. The Visual Studio 2015 is the error code what you're seeing, the VC run time 140.dll. You can download this version and also download some other versions which are very common which causes problems uh, with certain programs so download these you will need to install uh, the 64-bit and the 32-bit versions just download them and install them very simple and easy to do I'll leave the links in the video description for you you can tell which versions they are they've got x86 here which is the 32-bit and you've got x64 which is the 64-bit version download and install both of those on the system now once you've got those on the system your problem should be resolved and the program should start to run now whether you're playing PUBG or any of those types of games they will require these now you can go to the Microsoft website and get the latest support for the Visual C++ redistribution for Visual Studio uh, versions here there's loads of different versions as you can see you can download a lot of these and install them and a lot of your problems will go away sometimes when you get dll uh, error codes coming up saying missing it's because these files are not installed on your system now i'll leave the link in the video description for you and uh, once you've done this you should see the files are back inside your programs a folder here which is where you install all your programs you can see they're inside here now if you want to put a load of them inside here in one fell swoop there is an actual program which you can use and download for free it's at the all-in-one runtimes which will download and install all of these and it's uh, in German and also English just download the version uh, which you require and once you've got this downloaded you can run it and it will pull all these down and install them on the system for you in one fell swoop rather than you going to every single link in that list it's been safe i've been using this for quite a while and it's safe to use uh, but if you prefer to go to the microsoft website the official website you can do i'll leave the link for that as well in the video description so you can download one at a time rather than have this program and download all of them in one fell swoop this is great for PC repair techs that want to just run an installer and install all these uh, Visual Studios in one go. So once you've got it downloaded, it's around about 200 odd megabytes. Drag it all onto your desktop with uh, SEMZIP, open it up, and then basically go into the folder and just run the executable file. Now I think I downloaded the German version here by mistake. There is an English version as well. Uh, but it doesn't really matter it's a pretty straightforward uh, installation program so i'm just going to let this fire up and then once this is done you should get some sort of gui interface here which you can just follow along and click on install it's that simple so it's just opening up here let's just gather in some information and once that's done the program will open and you'll see the tick marks for whatever you want to install you can take the tick marks out of some of the stuff you don't want to install but if you want to install all of this stuff you can just leave the text in and basically go ahead and run the install button uh, it says in german there because i've downloaded the german version but it will say install if you download the english version it's pretty simple just click on this and it will download and install those so we'll start going ahead and putting all those on for us which is no problem at all again it's installing a lot of stuff in there you can see java on there as well if you don't want that installed you can always remove the tick for java runtime environment if you don't want that on there just remove the ticks on the stuff you don't need to install like adobe flash player you could probably remove that uh, and you know you don't need them sort of things if you don't want to install them and once that's done you should see these coming down and getting installed 
very simple and easy to do and this will fix a lot of error codes and missing DLL files that you're probably going to get when you're trying to play certain games and things like that so just run these things so let me just let this finish off and we'll see uh, what the end result is here so it should be just finishing off now and that's putting the DirectX 9.0 C on there as well and some extra files this is useful for some older games and stuff like that and we are now done and if we go back to our control panel and take a look and see what's in, been installed you should see a bunch of them installed in there now and you should have no more problems you can see there's a big bunch of them in here pretty much every version here and some of the older programs do run these uh, files and you will need to have them on the system once you finish, you can delete these files and you should be good to go and your problem should be resolved. Anyway, hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. <laughs>